Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nathan East for those of you who are new to the channel and I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be all about the studies and books that I've completed in January and then what I'll be doing for the month of February. So we're going to slightly, just quickly review what I've done in January. So January was really a month of um, struggle. I'm going to say struggle. Um, because there was a lot of things that I wanted to do, but I really didn't get a chance to do them and complete them just because of my own laziness, which is terrible, you guys. Like, the month of January made me realize how lazy I had become in my dedication to studying the Word daily. But um, I completed some things. So, starting off, I guess, with um, the books that I said I was going to read. I finally completed Goliath Must Fall by Louis Giglio, which the image of that will be here. I have an ebook copy of that. That book is phenomenal, you guys. It's all about um, the story of David and Goliath and really seeing that David is really not me, but David would be Jesus and how Goliath is um, the problems and the like fear and addiction and rejection and stuff like that in my life and how Jesus has already um, defeated them but how they sometimes can creep back up into our lives. So that was a really good um, book to read. I highly suggest that one, as well as a Bible study. It's amazing. I'll leave a link to where you can purchase the book down below. But um, And then I also said I wanted to do Lead Me Holy Spirit by Stormy Ormonton, but I was so focused on finishing up Goliath Must Fall that I never really got a chance to dive into this. I did read half of Chapter 1 in the introduction, and it was phenomenal. So I'm excited to pick this up again. Um, for the challenges, I did the prayer journal challenge with Heather Lindsay of the Pinky Promise Movement. And I didn't do all 31 days, but I did ma majority of the days. And I feel like I've accomplished that challenge just because journaling sometimes on a daily basis can be a little overwhelming for me. But I did stick to it as much as possible. So I feel satisfied with having completed that challenge. Um, and the studies that I said I was going to do. So... I did not really dive into Psalms at all. I did not do Proverbs at all. So those were completely a fail. Um, with Luke, I finally completed it. If you guys saw my last three or four Instagram posts, you guys will see the video I posted and also the images. I finally completed it. I actually completed it February 1st. You guys, it took me five months. And the reason why is because I realized how lazy I got with studying it. Um, the way I studied the books in the Bible is one chapter is a day and if the chapter has more than like 40 verses I split it up into two days but um yeah I got real lazy like one night I would say I'm not going to study I'll do it tomorrow and then tomorrow would come and it wouldn't get done and then after then I would feel bad so I would not pick it up again until I felt a pull and it was just terrible so five months is ridiculous but um I finally completed it I got so much out of it and I loved it so that's that um I said I wanted to do Ephesians didn't do that obviously because I didn't get a chance to finish um, Luke on time, but I did do the Worthy of the Calling by Sarah Kuhn study. I finished that up completely. It was phenomenal. I loved it. And the last one I had was the Armor of God by Priscilla Shire. I literally only got to day two of week one. Like that. That literally like. Yeah. That 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 was it, you guys. This is literally all I did of the study. So I need to pick that back up. But um, I mean January just let me know where I needed to um basically January helped me to understand where I've been going wrong what I've been doing wrong and in February I'm going to be doing things a little differently um also I did actually end up doing another study um and it was actually some sermons I watched eight sermons from tra on Transformation Church on YouTube which I'll leave down below the pastor is um Pastor Michael Todd and he had a series called Relationship Goals and I watched all eight sessions um, one a day and you guys it was so profound I was taking notes in this journal here this is a compositional book I got from Walmart from class X stationery from the enchanted collection and um, yeah, I put all of my notes in here I mean you guys there were so many notes so much great stuff from that sermon um, from those sermons in the relationship goals series and I love it he's actually doing a series now called stride which I'm thinking about watching, but I'm probably going to watch another one of his series first. Um, but yeah, great study. So I think, though January was a little slow for me and a little long, I did do a lot of productive things this month um, with my Bible studies and stuff. So, 
Mm. Moving on to February. So for the month of February, what should I be studying and reading? I'm going to start off with the books that I'll be reading because there's only two books. Um, the first one, of course, I'll be picking up again. I just hit myself with the, in my um, glasses with this book. But um, I'm going to be doing the Stormy Ormerton Leave Me Holy Spirit because it's really good, really, really good. It's called. It's about longing to hear the voice of God. Um, and I read it so far. I love it. You guys can see all the little tabs I have in it. I've been highlighting in this book. Um, underlining, I mean, it's just really good. It's really good. The prayers in this book are so profound and strong. So, um, this is one. And another one is going to be Anywhere Faith by Heather C. King. It's about overcoming fear, insecurity, and excuses, and saying yes to God. This is actually the February book pick for the Our Daily Bread Book Club. This will start February 12th, and it's going to go all the way to the 30th of March. So, um, it's basically every Monday you read a chapter, and throughout the week you answer questions that they might post up, or whatever the case may be. So, one week per chapter. I'm excited for this. It looks really good. I do have a copy of this to give away to someone soon. Um, and yeah, I'll leave a link to where you can purchase this book as well as to the Our Daily Bread book club because their book clubs are awesome. So I'm excited for that. Um, so just two books for the moment. There might possibly be a third, which I'll enter here, which is, um, Sex in a Broken World by Paul Tripp, only because it is so similar to the Relationship Goals series that I just did with, um, Pastor Michael Todd at the Transformation Church YouTube channel phenomenal so i'm thinking of picking that one up because i did receive that as a review anyway so um that is the third possible book if i can get to it um as far as my study so psalms and proverbs are a given because i need to get through them obviously um i'm going to pick back up on the armor of god by Priscilla shire and the reason i'm picking this up is because i'm going to dive into the book of isaiah i mean ephesians sorry the book of ephesians and just let me show you guys Ephesians real quick, because you guys know I did the Sarah Kuntz um, study, the Worthy of the Calling study, which was actually a study on the book of Ephesians. And when I did that study, I, um, I made my markings throughout the whole book of Ephesians, as you guys can see. But I didn't write my notes into it because I wanted to dive back into it separately from the study. So I figured while doing the armor of God, since it's on Ephesians, um, studying Ephesians would be great. There are six chapters in Ephesians, so it should only take me, it should only take me six days, you know. Keyword being should, we'll see. I'll give myself two weeks. But um, prayerfully, I can get through it in six days because the verses are really not that long. They're not. Yeah, I should, yeah, six days, you guys. I'll be through these within six days because they're all less than about 40 verses. So, it should take me six days starting Monday, so a week. And then after I get through Ephesians, I want to jump into the book of Isaiah because it's really, really pulling to me. Um, It's really calling to me, and I really want to dive into that. And that is going to take me some time to read because there are 66 chapters in Isaiah, so that's going to take me some time. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I definitely want to jump into Isaiah. So... For the month of February, I'll be reading Psalms and Proverbs, Ephesians, Isaiah. I'll be doing the Priscilla Shire, the Armor of God study. Um, I'm debating on watching um, a series from Transformation Church, which is Pastor Michael Todd. I think it's called Fruitful or Fruitfulness. Fruitful or Fruitfulness, I mean. Um, I'll put on the screen exactly the series name and a link to the playlist down below. But um, I definitely want to get into that because that's about the fruits of the Spirit. But I'm debating on holding off on that until I study Galatians. So we'll see. That's a possible one. But um, yeah. Other things that I'm going to definitely be doing this month is doing some verse mapping because I really want to get into that study technique. And I figured that I would um, use the Holy Bible app or the YouVersion Bible app to take their verse of the day and use that to do my verse mapping, which would be great. So definitely going to get into verse mapping as well for this month. But yeah, February is going to be great. Um, I'm going to start everything on what day is that? On the 5th. So February 5th will be the start of my Ephesians Bible study. Um, I may even start tomorrow, actually, which is the 4th, because today is February 3rd. So February 4th, I might start, because I'm not going to be able to go to church. Um, so I figured I can definitely start on that. And I'm um, picking up on the armor of God as I go along with that. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be studying for the month of February, what you did study in the month of January. Um, and if you have any suggestions on, like, new things to study, because I'm always looking for, you know, stuff to study. 
And um, I think that's it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, rating, commenting, and subscribing. A giveaway will be coming soon. I'm hoping to have a giveaway information video up within a week or two because I'm definitely going to try to do a, a giveaway towards the end of the month. Um, so stay tuned for that because I am now over 200 subscribers, which is insane. And I definitely want to give away some things to some people out there. So that is it for this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.